Welcome to Five Senses and Beyond uh, intro Zoom. And really, how much change can we create when we connect with these five senses and even start, um, you know, reactivating them? I was listening to a, a Facebook Live of uh, the amazing Dr. Dane here. And he mentioned the five senses. <laughs> I sent him lots of kisses for that. Um, and what he was uh, talking about is something I've written recently in an article um, called Discovering the Senses, talking about sight, right? Is how much we use our five senses, but then we go into a sort of uh, judgment, judgment about what we see, judgment about what we hear, right? Judgment even about what we taste, you know? Judgment um, about what we smell. Ooh, that stinks. Ooh, that smells good, right? Uh, and uh, Gary Douglas was just talking about, uh, recently on one of his calls, about how we are living from this right or wrong position right? Um, is it, are we seeing this right? Are we hearing this right? Um, are we tasting something that's good? Are we tasting something that's bad? But what if before we jumped into those judgments, right, about what we see, what we hear, what we taste, what we touch, how we are touched by others, right? What if before we allow those implants, if you will, to activate, we allowed them to connect us, right? Because this reality, as we know, is full of judgment. It's how it operates. I remember a girlfriend of mine, a certified facilitator of access, she went to talk to a group of people about living beyond judgment, without judgment. And they said, how can you do that? I mean, how can you decide anything if you don't use your better judgment, right? So everywhere we are using our better judgment, instead of engaging our senses and recognizing mm -hmm. things for what they are, can we destroy and uncreate all that? Yeah, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pox, short, boys and beyonds. One of the things that really interests me about this particular topic is that uh, a lot of times we are overwhelmed by our senses, especially humanoids, humanoids who are lots of times like X-Men, right? That have hyper sensitivity, right? And what if we allowed ourselves to receive the contribution from what we are sensing and also asked to be that contribution. You know, this, um, these five senses are the beginning, but they're also like a doorway to different possibilities, infinite possibilities. And sometimes we are not centered. We are not feeling comfortable. We are not feeling like we belong. But you know what? We all belong here. We've actually chosen to be on this planet. Stain says two feet in this reality. But what if, right? These senses were the way not only that we can live in this reality and be more comfortable with it, right? Feel more at home here but also open us up to communing with this earth, right? And also being in communion with every molecule in this universe and beyond, you know? Sometimes we start not from our bodies, our beings. Sometimes we start way outside of our bodies, right? 
the beautiful thing about these five senses is that they are really connected with our bodies. So living in this reality, how much more ease could we have with it? How much more joy could we have with it? How much more exuberant expression of life, ease, joy, and glory could we have if we really were willing to savor what we see, right? To taste the sounds, right? To touch the flavors and the smells, to really see how these five senses can open us up to not only combining them to have more ease in our lives, but also to connect with others. I was talking to my girlfriend, uh, Linda, today. I believe she's on. And we were talking about uh, this Netflix series called Sense8. I don't know if any of you have ever seen that. But there were these eight uh, beings, eight human beings body, in bodies uh, that had never really met, but they were able to receive the contribution from one another when they were in danger or when they were in a desperate situation, right? You might find yourself in a situation that's not comfortable and you're not able to figure out, right, with your thinking mind, how to go beyond it. So what if you allowed your senses to be a contribution to you in that? And how can you connect with others using your senses? So I love, love, love the idea of exploring each and every one of these senses and how we used to, when we were kids, we used to have no judgment no limitation, no preconceived notion about what we saw, about what we heard, about what we smelled. We had no reference points, right, for those. Everything was new. And what exploration of these senses can allow every moment of our lives, right, to be a discovery? really an uncovering of the beauty on this planet. You know, we've been talking a lot uh, about a sustainable living earth, right? And the earth is recognizing each and every one of us and communicating with us through the easiest pathway. And that easy pathway is something that unites us all and those are our senses, our perception, right? Now, five senses, I don't know if you know this, but the five senses started way back um, from Aristotle, right? Ancient times, right? But science says, okay, maybe we have more than five senses. We have that sixth sense, sixth sense, right? But, or maybe we have seven senses, or maybe we have nine, even till 21 senses, science is talking about. Gary Douglas, the founder of Access, says we probably have 100,000 senses. So how can we access all of that with ease, right? And live it with ease, right? I know that a lot of us are able to see things that are not uh, physically visible in this reality. So the sense of sight goes beyond the physical constructs of this reality, right? A lot of us are able to hear things. I hear often silence. How much of that which we're able to hear, see, touch, smell, taste, right? beyond what is in front of us is our pathway to infinite possibilities. And if you're willing to always tap back into you, 
right? Your essence, your being, and recognize how much you're connected to everything and everyone. Then living with both feet in this reality can be more joyful and more full of ease. So I really would like to explore on each call, I have five calls coming up, one on each sense, on each call, so many of the amazing things that we know, because we're infinite beings, we know infinitely when we're functioning from that. But a lot of times we're not functioning from that. So in this exploration of each of the senses and of what we see, what we don't see, what we hear, what we don't hear, etc. In exploring that, how much can we also invite and open up for others to recognize that they belong here and that they have access to everything and everyone that ever existed, that ever will exist, and that is available to us through our senses. Yeah. One of the um, things that I know is that we often try to cut off our senses so that we don't get overwhelmed. So what if we, instead of cutting them off, right? <laughs> what if we turn them up? What if we turn them up? Now, this is just a little uh, taster, but you know, if for those who know me, they know that I love to uh, give everything all the time. So let's just play for a moment with sight. I wrote a, a really um, cool article on sight. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out on my blog. But let me invite you for a moment to close your eyes. Close your eyes, and what do you see? Right. Now open your eyes, and what do you see? Just because you have your eyes closed or you're in the dark doesn't mean that you don't see. Even people with outside, we call blind, they see the light, right? They may see the dark. And them using the other senses to contribute to their lack of sight allows their vision to go beyond what people with perfect eyesight don't even recognize. So what exploration of your senses is it now time to choose? Yeah. What energy, what space, what consciousness, and what choice are you willing to make so that you can be the infinite sensorial organism that you and your body are and open up to a different world of possibilities. We'll be exploring the topics of the senses, but we'll also be looking at, right, how much we have limited, linearized, tried to control, right? and also given so much form and structure and significance to what we see, how we taste, who we smell, <laughs> who we touch, what we can hear and what we can't. Went back to the to be a contribution to us and allow them to help us be a contribution to others. One of the things that uh, Dane and I were talking about was this 
beauty that we can see even when that person or that land is not being acknowledged as beautiful. So how can you use your senses to enhance the beauty, not only in your life, but on the planet? And would that contribute to a sustainable planet? Would that contribute to a future beyond this reality? Would that contribute to this earth shining its brightness and its beauty and reflecting the beauty that we are? Yeah. This five senses and beyond is really about knowing that you have a capacity to connect not just with the people around you, but with everyone and enjoy, right? The stimulation that that creates and also invite others to see that. You see, when we choose something like this, something so, so soft, so nurturing, so delicious, when we choose that, we begin to vibrate, right? With that nurturing energy. And it opens that space up for other people to choose it. So let me ask you a question. Would you be willing to be that energy, that space, that consciousness, that choice that allows others to generate and contribute to this planet without cognitively knowing it? but just because they have acknowledged or recognized or perceived that a space is opened up. I get we can do that. I get we can do that together. And that's the invitation I'd like to be to you. And we have, like I said, we have five uh, calls about these and a sixth call. And I really am looking forward to what you know about the senses you know some of us have worked in different areas maybe it's in health maybe it's in coaching maybe it's with children maybe it's with children who have experienced hyperactivity uh, and i'll talk about this on the touch um, call as well I've worked with clients and have been facilitating uh, these amazing tools of access consciousness for over 15 years and worked with lots of people and seen the amazing capacities we have that just because others didn't recognize them as capacities and instead judge them as inabilities, handicaps, right? We have turned them down cut them off, right? Or have limited them so that we can match other people. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. That's a perfect, yeah. So that's a perfect sound. Yeah. So everywhere we have been limiting our capacities, right? Limiting our choice, not acknowledging the energy, the space, and the consciousness that we are, right? Can we destroy and then create all that and choose a reality beyond this reality that also includes this reality? Because we're living here, we've chosen to be here, and there's no coincidences. Just like you're listening to this now, that's not by chance. So what is it that you can choose and say, yes, like uh, Obama, yes, I can. <laughs> yes, we can, right? We can invite a different possibility, not only for our lives, right? But, you know, for the entire planet. And a lot of times people think that they 
are selfish when they're choosing something that is just for them. That's not true. Because if you choose something that actually brings you into more of being you, right? I think there's a book by that name, Being You, Changing the World, something like that. If you are choosing something for you that allows you to be more of you, right? you can and will change the world. So what can you choose for you? I hope you choose to join us on the series. What can you choose for you now that will expand your senses, your sensitivity, your perception, and allow you to enjoy it and have fun with it? And just like we were when we were born, open our eyes and be delighted by everything that shows up, be contributed to and be willing with that curiosity, with that delight, with that enthusiasm, be willing to be that contribution. Stimulating the molecules, engaging the elementals, and being the bridge, right, between this planet and the infinite possibilities for more growth, more happiness, more interactive play, less judgment, and more possibilities. Yeah. So if that sounds fun to you, I hope that you will contribute and that you will be ready to explore things that you may have forgotten, things that you may have not considered, things that you may have only dreamt possible, but that if you're willing, we can make them possible. Yeah. Yes. All right. So I'm going to invite you just because I can, if you'd like to join us, um, we've probably got the links in the chat, um, but also I'd like to give you um, a gift. And it's a, it's a call, well, it's a call I did um, a year ago. Um, and it's really connected to this topic. Uh, and it's called, um, what does your body know? Right? What does your body know? Yeah. And it's, um, it's a really cool call. It's got a lot of questions on it. And so if you would like to join us and you will join us, uh, we will send out the information. If you join us for the series, this will be my gift to you. And I will ask that you listen to it. And you don't even have to um, listen to the words, get the energy of it, uh, because that will already begin opening up the exploration uh, of the senses that you and your body together share, right? And that is our pathway uh, to a different reality on this planet. Yeah. So they will um, put the links in the uh, chat and we will also send you an email uh, about that and uh, the replay for this Zoom and also information about the calls. And you can join us for the first call, which is going to be about touch. <laughs> and the second call, it's going to be about taste. You can uh, join those individually if you'd like. If you don't know if you want to join us for the whole series, um, that's going to be on Tuesday, May 21st. And of course, you'll have um, the replay of all of them and uh, the touch call. And on Thursday, May 23rd, we will have the taste call. And I don't know if you know, but I live in Italy. And when we think about taste, we think about food <laughs> and enjoying food uh, and we do that uh, quite a bit and uh, a lot of the eye countries think about that 
Italy, India, Israel about uh, deliciousness and taste. But there's so much more than just food uh, in, in taste. And there's so much more in touch um, than just touching something or someone. Um, anyway, we will explore uh, those on the, on the call. So, on the calls. So, looking forward to playing more with this. And uh, thank you so much for your patience uh, with the technology. And what, what can we savor about uh, everything that shows up? That's not a coincidence. That's not by chance. Uh, what if it is by choice? So are you ready to choose uh, more of your senses and your essence and your sensations and your magic through the five senses and beyond? Great. Thank you so much uh, for joining. And um, I look forward to seeing you online in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Bye-bye.